Hi guys, it's nice to see you all. My name is Reese. I'm 16 years old and I'm in two weeks time taking my GCSE exams. I am doing altogether 23 exams, which is a hell of a lot. I'm really nervous, but I am currently preparing for them, as you can see in this lovely background of English, maths and science. So I'm currently partnering up with Primrose Kitten to do a study with me, as many of you guys seem to enjoy them. And I'm personally going to be doing the one of the revision I'm going to be doing today. So first of all, we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a little to-do list, uh, see what we can do for the day. And you know, when, when, when you do a to-do list, it really motivates you to do the work. And also you get a sense of completion and fulfillment when you actually complete it and tick off every individual piece of work that you have to do. Yeah, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so the plan for today is to make quote banks for every character of every book for my English literature. I'm then going to do a history course on Seneca or Seneca about the Nazis. Um, next, I'll be doing the Primrose Kitten science paper she generously gave to me. And then after I'm going to do my French speaking practice because my French speaking is in four days. So yeah, let's just get right into this. So I'm currently going through Macbeth quotes and I'm doing Lady Macbeth and Quizlet. I'm then going to go and bite size and analyze the quotes um, with language and structural devices. And then I'm also going to be looking for context online. So for instance, I'm using the noun ghoul for Lady Macbeth and ghoul was, is bile, isn't it? And um, back in when Shakespeare writ the play, they believe ghoul caused, um, you know, evil and anger in a person. So when she says, take my milk for ghoul, she's like uh, removing her feminine elements to become more masculine and evil. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I will inform you when I get this all done. So basically, um, I did a couple of them for quote wise. So I did Banquo Macbeth, Lady Macbeth and the Witches. But then I realized that the quotes that I'm currently doing are the same ones that are already on here. So I've just like, um, re-went through all of these quotes. Like, um, I reviewed them and tried to memorize them. So I know them now, because that's the thing that I learned when doing revision. There's no point going over things that you with materials that you already have so like these were basically just a waste of time but that's the thing with revision it's the case of that you're learning from your mistakes whilst also gaining your own knowledge as well like with these ones here the poems these are quotes because these are quite a lot of detail of description these just are sort of like shortcuts of the quotes but for these these are really shortcuts so there's no point making you know extra resources for them but yeah majority of my wall is already quotes so I didn't really need to use them, it's just to practice what my quotes really are and fully understanding them. So yeah, we're gonna go and head over now and do some history, uh, starting now. So as I've already done Nazi Germany, as you can see, I've completed the majority of it all. Um, I'm just recapping through it, as you guys just saw. And later today, I'm gonna go through, you know, the whole topic of dictatorship and then make mind maps and notes like I've done for migration and Elizabethans. Um, but now, that's a good time. It's almost, uh, it's quarter to two, as you can see up here. And I think it's now time to start on with some science. Yeah, you guys, when I told you that I was quite a nerd when it comes to Seneca, um, almost a trillion knowledge points with 6,900 questions, answers, and, you know, almost 57 hours on this it, this is crazy, but Seneca is a really good resource. Um, I have done all of my biology on there. I did chemistry, but I actually need to triple. So I'm going to now go through that um, possibly tomorrow. And I've done physics, Christmas Carol. I'm going through the spectacles and I've done Macbeth. 
the poetry, French, Nazis, Elizabethans, maths, media studies, and then they also have science practical, which is really good, as many schools um, don't really go through all the practicals, especially in my school. They've never went through majority of the physics nor chemistry ones. So I'm instead I'm basically learning the practicals myself and then applying the knowledge of them into the, you know, the six mark questions that you get in the exams. Okay, so I've just done history and I've done English. Now what I've got to do is do science. Now science, I do struggle with quite a bit. I can't really get my head around it. I'm fine with biology, but when it comes to physics and chemistry, I do really struggle. If you follow me on my YouTube channel at Reese Mackay, and if you aren't, make sure you do subscribe and like. I did a mock opening and these were for my February mocks and I got in chemistry a free free. And now I'm doing combined higher. So obviously it is quite hard, but for me it was especially hard and getting them results really put me down. But that means I'm putting extra effort into revision. Okay, so in this book here, I'm going through the primrose kit in like hour and a half chemistry paper one and twos. And with a mixture of her really useful videos, and Seneca Learning, I'm making basically a portfolio of everything I really have to learn. So for instance, I've done everything from organic chemistry to all of the practicals we need to use. And I've also done classwork in here, polymers. And I've also done all the physics equations, which you can get from her website, um, as you can see right here. So for my revision today, I'm basically going to be going through some past papers and predictive papers. Now, Primrose Kitten has really generously gave me some predictive papers from her website to do. Now, these are really, really good, a really good price, guys. I think they're only 99p to print out a paper, and that's really good. And I've had a little flip through. I can see that they're really high quality and they're really, really good they go through all of the papers and all the topics she's given me around five or six to do i'm going to really focus on chemistry i'm going to do a paper one and paper two today and i'm basically going to just see how far i can go i'm not going to be disappointed if i don't really get anything because the answers are in the back and i'm basically going to go through the answers in pencil and then I'm gonna go through the answers in green pen, the ones I don't really understand. And then from that, I'm gonna see which which topics from, um, you know, chemistry, I need to really revise and understand more. As you can see, I really struggled with this. I really didn't understand the majority of the questions as we haven't really been taught them at school. So I tried my hardest in it, but now I'm going to, um, you know, go through the answers with green pen and see, you know, what I would have got and um, learn from my mistakes. I've got 19 which is not really that good but apparently according to this like really rough grade boundary that's level 5 which is better than what I actually did so I missed like mainly um so I think I need to revise more on relative formula mass because that was two marks that I got and I read the graph question wrong so I messed it up um and it was also the case of I knew this practical year, but I missed a few little things in my head. Um, here are just little things that I should know. So yeah, after green pen in that, I really understand a lot more now. So thank you Primrose for giving me these. I'm really grateful and now I understand a lot more when it comes to chemistry. Okay, so I'm gonna go through my French speaking now, but I don't really wanna film that because it's really like embarrassing when I have to film myself speaking in French. So this is the end of the study with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and thank you Primrose again for letting me use your channel. Um, if you wanna see more of my face, my YouTube is Reese Mackay and it's been lovely to be on here and I hope you guys are revising and I wish you the best of luck for your exams. Bye.